In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing plays from five wide in Madden 21. And this is a simple yard gainer. This is something you can go to consistently. It's just going to help you work the ball up and down the field against your opponent. Now, if you're new to the channel, maybe you've never met me before. My name is Cody. And what we do here on our YouTube channel is we post four videos every single day at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time that are designed to help you get better at Madden 21. And so if you're interested in um, getting better at this game on the offensive and on the defensive side of the ball, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, and we're going to jump right into the video. All right, guys, so gun empty trade. This is in the New York Jets offensive playbook. I absolutely love the Jets offense. I think it's one of the most underrated playbooks in Madden NFL 21 this year. And uh, what we're going to be talking about is this play, Why Stick? Now, this is a complement um, to the play that we broke down earlier. And the play we broke down earlier was unders, right? Unders is a really good concept. It's a levels concept. Now, in my opinion, uh, when you're running Why Stick, it's great, and I mean absolutely great, if you can have a slot apprentice at the left side slot receiver. So if you can have that, um, that is excellent. If you don't have that, maybe you're using the Packers and regs, or you're using another team in, in regs that doesn't have the ability to have route chemistries, you can still use this as is, and we'll show you exactly how to do that. But this is one of my favorite, um, favorite route combinations in Madden 21. Absolutely love this. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So what you'll notice about why stick is on the outside, whoops, I'm sorry, I forgot, I forgot to grab a man-to-man -man coverage. On the outside, on the left side receiver, he is on my favorite route in Madden 21, and that is this little three to five yard under route. And uh, what I mean by under route, some people call it a China route, some people just call it a levels route. Um, depending on your terminology, you may call it something different, but um, what I, I just call it a simple under route, a little underneath uh, in route that's going to go about three to five yards. Now, they vary depending on the type of route. What you're going to see is this one is he's going to take about one, two, three, four steps, and he's going to come to the inside. I absolutely love this route, and the reason why is because he will always get inside position against the defense. It doesn't matter what the defense does. He's always going to get inside position against it. And so you can kind of build around this route. And what I really like about it is it's so simple. There's nothing, um, there's really nothing sexy about it. It's just going to make your offense better. It's going to make it gain yards. Uh, and I want to show you this. Now, typically with this, I'm actually going to run this to the short side of the field. You can run this to the wide side if you want to. Um, this corner route to Godwin, what I like to do is I like to motion him to the right. What this is going to do is it's going to turn him basically into a tight end. He's not going to be able to get pressed. You'll see here, I'm going to press coverage, and there's no ability for the defense to press. And uh, you'll see that he is going to easily beat man-to-man -man coverage to the outside. Um, and what's really nice about this specific formation, he's generally going to always have outside leverage. Meaning, even when you motion him in, he's pretty much always going to have outside leverage. So you see right here, this time he does have inside. Um, but you see here, when he cuts the outside, you can kind of fit that in. Now, one thing that I would encourage you to do with this play is go ahead and smart route Chris, Chris Godwin. All right. Now, most of the time when they motion in, they're going to remand align. And what you'll notice was earlier was when I remand aligned, that guy got out of the way. But you'll see here, again, just motion him in, let him run outside, and you're going to get that outside leverage against zone coverage, especially if you have good route running there. Now, one thing you will notice about Chris Godwin is he does have slot matic So if you just leave him right here, his slot matic is going to light up and he's going to beat man to man. And really, if they're showing me, if they're not showing that they're pressing, if I'm not facing a lot of press from my opponent, then I will. I'll just leave him right here. I won't even motion him in. If they're not going to press me, then I'm going to just run it as is, right? If they are going to press me, that's where, okay, now he's made a conscious effort to press me. So now I'm going to make a conscious effort to go ahead and motion this guy inside and give him an opportunity to, you know, simply beat him, as you see right here, to the outside. So both routes on the left side are going to beat me in coverage. Now, if they shade coverage up on this corner route, that is the best possible thing that they can do. Um, you'll see the separation is much, much more significant when they shade coverage. The separation for you will also be more significant if Chris Godwin has um, like slotomatic or route technician, but also if he has a route running um, threshold of over 90. So if this, for example, this guy does not. 
But if he has a medium route running of over 90, that's going to help with this route and get him even more separation. But as you can see, very simply, he beats man. So you have two man beaters on the left. Um, and, and so that's really, you know, the core of this play and where this play starts. Now, what you'll notice is if I put him on a post, and if I do put him on a post, I will motion him in every single time. I will never run him on a post on that slot. So if I have a slot apprentice on him, I'm putting him on a post, and then I'm putting him in motion every single time. It never changes, and the reason why is because you're always going to get inside position on this post route. So literally right here, now if they man a line here, you see this corner is going to go cover the tight end, and the backside linebacker will be in man coverage on him, but you'll see he'll still get inside position, inside leverage. That's really what we're after uh, within this. So I'm always going to put him, if I'm going to put him on a, a post route or uh, just a 10-yard dig, for example, if you don't have you know, the ability to put him on anything, if it's first and 10 for you, put him on this little 10-yard dig, and you'll be surprised at how consistent that works for your offense. Actually, will work very well for you. Now let's talk about the right side of the field. Um, the right side of the field, there's several things that you can do um, with this. You can leave it as is. You literally don't need any adjustments, and that little out route to the tight end will always be man-to-man -man coverage every single time because he's he's unbumpable, meaning they're not going to be able to press him. Um, if they press up, maybe you see something like this, right? You're going to see, again, a little quick out, and he's always going to meet or, or beat the man-to-man -man coverage. So the one thing that I would say that I would recommend you do with this is to take your um, Mike Evans here and just put him on a flat route. And the reason why, and, and then what I would honestly do, is take Watson and put him on a curl. Now what you're going to have is you're going to have a curl flat concept on the right side. Now, if they go man-to-man -man coverage, this is going to clear more space for your tight end out route. Your tight end out route is going to get more separation because you've now cleared the space. If you have a tight end apprentice, there's a ton of things that you can do off of this. But this is my favorite way to run this play. But let's say they go zone coverage on you. Now, if they're not playing hard flats, you can throw that route to Mike Evans. But if they are playing hard flats, then you can hit your curl route in a curl flat concept and in a curl flat read. As far as zone go coverage goes on the left side, what you'll notice here uh, from this play, and again, this is all simple setups. You don't even need the ability. But what you'll see is this corner route's going to pull the yellow, and it's going to pull the outside flats uh, with him. And so you're going to leave this little underneath breaking pattern wide open. And what's really cool about it is even if they shade their coverage down onto the back, or not onto the back, but onto the slot, you're going to still be able to consistently hit that read against shaded coverage down. The quarter route's going to pull that flat out of the way, and you're going to be able to have that read. Now, let's say that they are pressing coverage and they're shading coverage down. Well, I want to show you what this looks like. So here, I would obviously motion Godwin to the, to the right to get him unbumpable. And here you'll see that you can still kind of fit that in, but it does defend it a little bit better. So one of the things, and this is where I really like to put Chris Godwin on a, uh, a simple post route, right, coming right across the middle of the field. And you'll see that these vert hooks will now have to drift back to go with that post route. So you're always going to be able to hit Scotty Miller underneath pretty much every single play. Um, now, if they run cover three, um, if they run cover three hard flats, right, something like this right here, um, what you're going to notice here is Scotty Miller, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer and you see that the spy can kind of disrupt this play. If they shade underneath and they're coming down on that route, then that can't be thrown. But what you can do, obviously you can work your right side 100%. But the other thing that you're going to be able to do in this world is you're going to be able to hit this post. This post is going to come wide open uh, in behind the hitch. That was kind of a crazy animation. We'll show you this one more time. But this post route to Chris Godwin um, is always going to be a good look against any, really any zone, um, specifically cover three, especially if they try to take that and play it underneath. You'll see that this post route comes wide open and you're able to hit it. So you have options against every defense that you're going to face. Now, if they're not coming underneath and they're not trying to really play um, down on Scotty Miller, you're going to find that this little read right here, in my opinion, is one of the best reads in the game because they have to play hard flats to be able to stop it. Um, even, if they, even if they shade coverage down here, if I take this guy and I put him in a purple, so this is shaded coverage down yellows, but I'm playing a purple zone, you'll see he's going to drift back and I can take that read for five to seven to 10 yards a pop. So that's what makes us so effective. And then obviously uh, with your tight end 
on this on this other side, what you'll notice here, this is just a cover two. You see, he's just going to turn around, show hands, and you're going to go. You, you're going to always get open against zone coverage on the right. You're also going to be able to be always open on the left. So this play is truly one of the better plays of the game, and it's a simple way that you can move the ball downfield. Now, if you are looking to take your Madden game to the next level, I want to talk to you really briefly about my text message membership. This is 100% free of charge for you to get it. It's literally 100% free. All you have to do is pull out your cell phone. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen and send me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. That'll get you signed up for the text membership. Just shoot me a text message and let me know you'd like to receive the videos. The videos that we give out in our text message membership every single week are high level Madden schemes. We've covered the shotgun bunch out of the Carolina playbook. We've covered the cluster out of the Arizona playbook. We've covered the single back trio scheme um, that you see a lot of competitive players using. We've covered a slot offset, split close. This week, I'm really, really excited because we have an hour video breakdown on the gun Y off trips pats or the gun U trips pats. One of the best formations of all time in Madden. So if you want to receive all of those videos, there's also defensive schemes in there. We have the big nickel over G defense. Next week, we're going to be talking about the mid blitz um, nickel two for five double A gap scheme. So a lot of great content for you in that text message membership. Again, just sending me one text will get you access to all of the videos. So shoot me a text message. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Our next video is going to go live at 6 p.m. Eastern, and we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.